Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, what's happened today? I've come back from the office. Um, came back with like the most banging headache in the entire world. I don't know why, like I don't ever get headaches guys, but I've been getting a lot of headaches. I'm not even fasting. Now, I'm going to a picnic. My friend was like, do you wanna have a picnic in the park? And cause the weather is spectacular. I was like, you know what, why not? This was when I was at, in the office. I thought it was a good idea. Come back home, all I wanna do is sleep. But I made a commitment and she's gonna be pissed. So, I'm going. Anyway, you lot, the weather, you don't understand. It's so beautiful. Guys, I made it and of course my friend is nowhere to be seen. Of course. Even though she told me to come here about half an hour ago. The light is a bit too strong, isn't it? Um, but anyways, this park literally throws it right back to um, lockdown. Radio, guys, mango. the food has a right. Oh, mango? Yeah. What what mango is it though? Well, it's just Is it white people's mango? Just, yeah. Oh no. Okay, it still looks good though. So we guys, have... we've got some mango, some penguin. I don't know why you're obsessed with penguin. <laughs> Why are you obsessed with Penguin? Oh, the lighting's, the lighting's I good. Love, I just love... Oh, the lighting's doing you really well. Exactly. You... Is it giving me a jawline? Oh my God, no, huh? Is it giving me a jawline? It's giving you a lot. It's giving you more than just a jawline, my friend. No, 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 no. You need to catch me in this lighting, bro. Are you mad? <laughs> Anyways, so, Oasis, crisps, and then some chicken wraps in there, which I'm most excited to eat. Shot some shots. Guys, our picnic's over. It was really cute. Very short, but cute. It's so cold. It's don't be deceived Reason. just because the sun's out. I was telling I was telling the vlog today, do you know how many batty riders and vests and bras I was seeing outside? I was like, you guys, it's not that hot. They were just getting too excited for People no in reason. the UK, they see a little bit of sun and they just get so No, cold. like I was actually just in shock. I was just like, I was wearing my coat because it's cold. And I'm just like, you people are hilarious. In the day it was beautiful, but now it's freezing. Anyways, going home. Can you stop now so I can finish my story? Oh, sorry. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later on, came back from the park, um, everyone's had a iftar and stuff like that, um, and I was just going through my YouTube comments from my previous um, Ramadan vlog video, and somebody asked to share my skincare routine. Um, and I'm gonna share it with you because I swear by this skincare routine, because I don't know if you lot remember, I don't think I was vlogging them, but during COVID, I suffered with really, really, really bad breakouts and like I've never had bad skin before, like alhamdulillah. My whole adolescence, <clears throat> sorry, don't know what happened there. <clears throat> I never had bad skin or spots or like crazy breakouts. Like I'd have obviously the occasional spot, but like, you know, that's normal. Then during COVID, boom, I don't know what the hell happened, but I tend to a spotty human being and it really made me sad and depressed and upset. And this lasted for like a good couple of years, like on and off I would go through like really bad breakouts. And um, obviously as a result of that, I had really bad scarring, like on my cheeks, on my um, chin area. And yeah, it was just a really sad time. However, I believe two products were my saviors and my cures. Um, as in that those are the only products i can think that have made an effect because i went through a phase of like just buying so much skincare and spending a lot of money on skincare and just trying loads of different products out but i never ever really noticed a difference until i started using these two products and obviously with skincare you have to obviously be consistent you have to um you know it's a daily thing if not a bi-daily thing so product number one which you've probably seen this product everywhere, like all over TikTok. I found it on, from TikTok. Actually, no, my friend recommended it to me and then I started seeing it everywhere on TikTok. So, it's the Effaclad Duo um, by La Roche-Posay. This is my second tube, so I've already gone through one one of these. And I know it's it's only, what, it's only a 40 mil tube and it is quite small, but it lasted me ages and I would wear it every single day. Um, I originally got the one with SPF and I love that one because it had SPF in it and I would wear it like in the daytime and it just, you know, wouldn't need to 
um, wearing SPF. But this one, I don't know, I decided to just get the um, the normal one. So that's the F Cloud Duo. And that essentially is, they advertise it as a moisturizer, but it's more of like a spot treatment, I would say, even though I did apply it to like my whole face. And I think what this did is it literally got rid of my blemishes and like my my marks and my scarring from my cheeks and the lens now i have like extremely mild scarring left if if like any that is and i think it's because of this and then um in combination to that i used the paula's choice bha is it the bha the bha liquid exfoliant which you've probably also all seen on tiktok and instagram and this i believe I'm not entirely sure what this did, but it definitely did something because I noticed like my skin just becoming 10 times better. And I believe it's because of both of these. Now, Lord knows, like when it comes to skin, it's difficult to actually, you know, know what it's down to. But I can, I can put some money that it was something to do with these two products. So that's my skincare. That's not my skincare, but these are the two things that I really highly recommend. Um, I also use jojoba oil which is literally just a natural or organic pressed oil and the reason i use jojoba oil is because apparently it's like the closest to our skin's natural oils so this i just use for that extra moisture i use this like day and night and then in the morning <laughs> your basic woolly to skin food which i wear on top of the oil and i have to wear it on top of the oil because i can't put it onto my skin um on its own because i feel like it's is very thick and it doesn't have a very smooth application unless it's got another oil underneath it that's just what i find but when i do put it on top of that oil i really really like it because it is quite a thick moisturizer and it like it lasts a long time on your face which i really like and i think that's about it for skincare if i'm honest with you oh i use just the garnier vitamin c um nothing special but i know vitamin c is like obviously it's a brightening serum and blah 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 and I think that's literally it. Oh, I've also started the... When my F Cloud Duo finished, I started to use the... I'm pronouncing it wrong, but Psychoplast Balm. Apparently, this is incredible. So, yeah. I really like La Roche-Posay. It's very gentle. It's very, like, soft on the skin. Um, that's why I think I like it. But, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Probably not going to film anything for the rest of the evening. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. Hope you're all doing well. Um, so, I'm en route to South because my cousin's holding an iftar, hosting an iftar shit, let's say. And all my family went by Uber, but me, little Cinderella child, had to take the train. The tube, to be fair, I did volunteer myself, but I'm just regretting it now. So, see you there. I made it, guys. Um, walking to my cousin's house now i think she's running late even though i came by train in like an hour took like an hour she's late story of my rascal life whenever i come to southwest it's just so nostalgic um because this was literally my childhood guys these roads these streets these houses were literally where i like had most of my childhood memories like it wasn't actually in east it was here that's because like my whole family like all my mum's side, they all lived here, very, very close to each other, like within like roads away from each other. So we had like this little neighborhood and it was just so cute. But now I don't really come here that often, even though, even though I know on the vlog, it might seem like I actually come here loads. I really don't in comparison to like what I used to. And I never sleep over anymore because I'm over sleepovers. Like, sorry guys, that was my cousin calling. But no, what I was saying as well is the contrast in area is just so jokes. Like this is literally the most middle class white area, which I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. Um, the streets are a lot cleaner. I don't know if it's about, I don't know if it's a lot safer, but you would assume so. And obviously like my area is just like ethnic minority central, full of Asian and Eastern European people, which I just, yeah. Where is, oh, there's my cousin. This is here. Well, she's not here. I'm here. <laughs> Let's go.
I'm at the Iftar. That's what I was saying. I don't think I can vlog everyone because some people haven't got those. <laughs> Guys, the food is very good. The food is delicious, especially this green chutney. This green chutney is just incredible. I've never tasted anything like it. I love a good chutney, I do. Wait, how much is the food up here? Yeah? Try to bit the inside of my cheeks. No. How is your Ramadan been going so far? Is that meant to be your microphone? Laura. Good. Have you fasted all of the days? I fasted all of them. Oh no, three counting this one. Masha Allah. No, this day, I, I couldn't. A little angel child. <laughs> but you know when you're just so full from eating all the starters, and now I can't eat the mains and they make so much food in front of it. It all looks scrumptious by the card. Which one? Yeah, we just wanted my cousin's wedding and then the rest of the history. Have things flourished. Relationship's still going strong. It's been about two years for them, two years for us. <laughs> Make that. Find me a husband. Whoa, whoa. Guys, you know my vlog is literally looking for husbands for my friends. So guys, add another one to the list. I'm five foot five. This one. Pakistani, yeah. Guys, I'll write, the, I'll write her CV in the description and let me know if you find this one for her. And keep an eye out. <laughs> look, that one is absolutely yummy. Oh no, it's like, babe, go for it. Those look incredible. Plus touch. I should have that there. Babes. Chocolate cake. Mm. Sorry. Try for it. And what's in there? I don't know. I want to try. Smiley, what are you talking about? Bye, actually. <laughs> Just because you're in a bye, you need to yes. relax. <sighs> ciao darlings, ciao. Right guys, it's home time, everyone's going. So I'll probably just end the vlog here. And yeah, end the vlog here and probably see you in the next next day, next clip, next week maybe. Rightio guys, um, we've just finished shooting. I think it was quite successful. I hope it bloody was. Um, now we're probably just gonna like chill for a bit and then go get it done. I'm really, really cold guys because I didn't bring a coat because obviously I was shooting and I just had so much stuff to carry. But now I'm regretting it. And do you know when, you, when you're fasting and obviously like your blood, blood sugar levels are low or whatever, I don't even know, and you get extra, extra cold. So like my bones and my insides are cold at the moment. Um, anyway, we're in, we're in King's Cross, my favorite area to shoot. Here's my photographer. I'm unpaid, but she she does a good job. Maybe one day she'll get paid. So we're just in and other stories, and they have such nice um, perfumes. Like their fragrances, I love. However, I just know the staying power isn't like great. So I don't know. Anyways, this is one that I really like at the moment. It's called Sicilian. What's it called? Sicilian Sunrise. This one here. And then also this one's really yummy. Midnight. On call. Delicious. Okay. Please stand back from the platform edge. So as we came back, we were like, how far is it from the last time? Like, oh my god, like so long. 40 minutes. 40 minutes after the last time. Got enough teeth, darling. These are the, did you, where did you get these little sauces from? Dixie. Both of them? Yeah. Mm. Guys, I basically love smash burgers at the moment. I think I've already told you, so I don't know if I have. Mm. But yeah. So I'm just here editing the vlog that you're currently watching. And then my little cute friend over here, she surprised me with these. Do you remember these are from the last vlog? These elite crisps. Well, she was kind enough to get me a pack literally found them in like a the random store yeah i feel like these these types of crisps you find them in the random like corner shops that yeah. you like not in the like actual supermarkets but bang just gonna enjoy these you're welcome for reference guys i basically talked about these in my um last tiktok vlog if you haven't watched that you can go um follow me on tiktok i'll put it in the description but yeah these crisps are elite they're the max they're also a lays max deep bridged paprika flavor so delicious Guess what time it is? You lot, my friends, little sellout, I'm bought so the excited. fruit roll ups. 
Oh my god, it's so melty. I told you. <laughs> then we've got mango sorbet, and then she's got the Hagadas. But basically, oh, her brother bought them, but he flipping let them melt in the car. So, oh no, I don't even know where the ice cream scoop is. I need an ice cream scoop. She's a flipping spoon. There it is. You lot know. If you know, you know. If you don't, then. Oh, that smells good. Let me sell it. Mmm. Mmm, smells like Solero. Mmm, smells like, yeah, it literally smells like Solero. Okay, Mango yeah. ice cream. So, we're going to do a fruit roll up challenge. If you don't know what it is, I'll quickly explain. Essentially, these are like an American snack, um, similar to wine, it's just the only thing you can compare to in the UK. And what you do is you get the fruit roll up, you open it up, and it's like a sheet of roll up. And it's quite soft and squidgy, but then when you put like a scoop of ice cream and like fold it all up, it hardens because obviously the ice cream is cold. And then it turns into like crackly, and then you bite into it and it's like crunch, crunch, crunch. And it's just been like a phase on Instagram. So that's what so we're So we do. are about to try it. She made me change angle because she's just mm, She likes sweets. So I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> like I prefer chocolate, I don't really like candy. Do you know what's nuts is that amount of times I've seen this on TikTok and like seen people do it and now I'm doing it, it's just so... Can you come crazy, crazy? Wait, come um, vanilla no, and lay it flat, yeah. You lot can't see really what's going on. Let me move you down here for that. This is, this is really melted, like crazy melted. Oh my god, too much. Get this. Oh, it's, me it's melting it's on the actual thing. No, this is too much. No, it's actually mm -hmm. melting. Mm -hmm. Can you show mine? Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> now you fold. Fold. Fold the edges in. Guys, it's already getting hard. Oh my god, no, it's actually no, wait, wait, wait. I'm so excited. I didn't even take mine out of the plastic. Guys, okay, listen. This is like the moment of truth of like how you test. Wait, don't do it without me. Fruit roll up. Oh my god. I'm set. Wait, mine's not rolling. I put too much ice cream. <gasps> it it broke. Mine oh. broke. Miss Keen, why are you putting that Mine much? broke. Oh no. Oh, look. This is how you know it's it's ripe. And it's good to eat. Mine broke. I'm just it's fine. Just, just still, but you still eat it. Don't waste it. Okay, one, two, three. Let's eat. <laughs> uh huh. Mm mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Listen. Uh oh. No. <laughs> Your gum is so low. I can't see anything. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm getting stuck all in my teeth. I'm all stuck in my teeth. It's really true. <laughs> this is no, the remains. Stuck in my teeth and I'm stuck. Absolute mess. Um, I, what would you rate that? I can't it, lie. Because I don't like sweets, that's the only thing. Like, it was a nice texture crunch. And like, I didn't, crunch. yeah, I didn't really like the fruit roll up itself. And also, if you don't let it get like properly hard, yeah, I think it's, it's just really chewy. It's just really chewy. melted. So I'll it's all stuck it in my teeth. It's all stuck a seven. in my teeth. I think I'd give it a seven. I'll give it a five, like I just wouldn't do it again. Five? For a kid, it might be fun and stuff, but like, I'm I not would a fan. i do it again if the ice cream wasn't melted. I just don't really like the fruit roll up, because it's too like artificial. Do you wanna try it with vanilla? Because I feel like yours would be too sweet with the No, it's not sweet, babe. It's very fruity with this one, because it's like, I can taste all of that. Yeah, TikTok is just so overhyped, you know? But it was fun. It was actually really fun. <laughs> she literally took the lid of this. Guys, let me show them. Basically, I couldn't be bothered to get a knife out. You don't need a knife. So I literally went like this, yeah. And it literally cut a perfect slice. Animal. Absolutely. This animal. bangs, by the way. I cannot lie to you. Well done to your aunt. I could eat the whole thing. Guys, tiramisu, if you didn't know, is one of my favourite desserts. But most of the time in restaurants, it's all got alcohol in it. So whenever I can get my hand on an alcohol free The alcohol makes it extra tasty. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, do you remember those ones in, um, in Italy? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. Mm. We're having a little debate because what I do with my biryani, <laughs> especially when it's a little bit spicy, is I love to add Thai sweet chilies. Absolute weird. I promise you, if you haven't already tried this, 
Next time you're eating biryani, um, it works with any type of biryani, I can't lie. Um, add a bit of this, let me know what you think. It's just an elite combination. Guys, I promise you, I come up with the best food combinations ever. Um, it will enlighten your life. So yeah, let me know what you think. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I can't believe it's literally gonna be, this is the second to last vlog. I think I'm only probably gonna have like one more Ramadan vlog left because I'm doing it once a week, right? So technically this meant to be four. So this is the third, yeah. There's only one more left after this, which is so, so, so sad. But I'll try and do an Eid vlog and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will see you on the next vlog. Yeah.